Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Aptitude Made Easy to Learn. I hope everyone doing good. In the previous videos, we discussed about a clock spike. Like what are the different types of problems we can expect on clock, how to solve them. And majorly we discussed about problems like angle between hands of a clock. Like how to find out angle between hands of a clock when minutes is higher or else the hours is higher. So we discussed all these things in the part 2 and part 1 videos. If anyone not yet watched those videos, I'll give the link in the description as well as the iCard of our video. So please watch that one so that you can understand the different types of problems on clocks. And if anyone not yet watched our channel and if anyone not yet subscribed to our channel if you are watching this video for the first time. So please click on a subscribe as well as click on the bell icon to get updates regularly. Then why so late? Let's get into the video. Yeah, welcome back. So here are the two clocks you can observe majorly. One is original clock, another one is duplicate as well as a set clock. We can call any other way, duplicate clock or as a set clock, we can call it as. So what is this gain and loss of a time? For example, consider uh, mo most of the people have a habit of uh, keeping their time five minutes fast or as five minutes slower, right? So which means than original clock, our clock is moving five minutes faster than the previous one so that we will be in a hurry to do our things. The same thing here. So most of the clocks because of a climatic changes or else because of the materials used in hands of a clock. So those hands will expand or else those hands will contract and they will move very fastly or else slowly sometimes. So by that increasing the time speed or else a decrease in the time speed. So here are the problems we are going to consider and solve. How much it is gaining, how much it is losing. That's nothing but, for example, consider both the clocks initially have 10 o'clock as time. So after some time, if this clock changes, for example, if this clock shows, original clock shows 11 a.m., duplicate may show sometime 11.5, which means actually the time should be 11 o'clock. If I am saying the duplicate clock is showing 11.5, what I can see, it is gaining 5 minutes, right? Actually, it should be 11 o'clock, but now it is 11.5, which means it is getting 5 minutes extra. Or as I can say sometimes, the time is 10 o'clock and after 1 hour, which means whenever the clock is showing 11 o'clock in original, set clock is showing 10.55 only. So, which means in this case, this clock is losing time. I am losing 5 minutes, right? So this is our problems we can expect. Always they will not give 5 minutes or else always they will not give 6 minutes. We can expect different types of problems on this. And in this video, we covered all the different types of problems we can expect on gain and loss. So don't skip the video anywhere because you might lose some of the important concepts in this one. So watch it and carefully understand each and every problem in this. So let's see some problems here so that you will get a better idea of this concept. First one, observe here, if a clock gains 3 minutes every hour and it is set right at 6 am, then what is the time when it shows 9 am on the same day in the correct clock? So what they are telling, initially both the clocks are 6 am only, that is original clock as well as a set clock, both the clocks are at 6 am only, but what is said? Set clock gains 3 minutes every hour. It gains 3 minutes every hour means, for example, whenever the time is 7 o'clock in original, set clock will be 3 minutes extra. It will be 7, 3, which means 7 hours and 3 minutes. So it says that for every 1 hour original clock is moving, set clock will move 3 minutes extra for every hour. And now they are asking, what is the time when it shows 9 am on correct clock? So, for example, a correct clock is showing 9 a.m. It is showing 9 a.m. Then what is the time in a set clock? Of course, using a general way and using a common sense, we can observe here. So, for 1 hour, it is increasing 3 minutes, right? Consider hour by hour here. If it is 7 o'clock, set clock is 7.3. If it is 8 o'clock, what will be set clock time? Is it 8.3? No, it will be 8.6. Why? Because 
for one hour it is gaining three minutes if it is six to seven it is becoming seven three if it is seven to eight one more hour i have completed right which means it will gain one more three minutes extra than r so from seven three to eight three it is one hour and three minutes extra and now what is the time in current clock 9 am so if it is showing 9 am then what will be set clock time so three more minutes will be added for this getting 9 9 so a very basic problem so just we need to get an idea for every hour we need to increase three minutes and it is not only one three minutes for every hour successfully we need to increase three minutes so this is very basic problem like there is no logic in understanding like no need of any logic just by using a common sense we can solve and i'll show you another type of problem using the same timing as well as the same terminologies here i have used but it is slightly different yeah see here if a clock gains three minutes every hour and it is set right at 6 a.m then what is correct time when it shows 9 a.m on the same day in set clock so what is the difference between previous and this one in previous one also they said that there are two clocks original and set clock and for example if original is showing 6 both set clock is also set at 6 a.m which means at 6 a.m both the times are started and it is also same it is gaining three minutes every hour which means if it is seven o'clock set clock will be seven three yep the same thing right but what they are asking here in the previous question if you observe here they are asking what is a set clock whenever it shows 9 am in correct clock so this 9 am is in original clock In the previous one and in this question what they are asking 9 a.m is in set clock so in this set clock it is showing 9 a.m which is not original time so now i need to find out original time using this how can i find out that using the same process i can find this right so see this if i am moving to six to seven how many minutes i am getting observe here 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock means how many minutes? It is 60 minutes. If I am getting 60 minutes, how much time I am getting here? 63 minutes. So for one hour of this, I am getting this. Or else in another way I can tell like this, right? Instead of considering one hour for original, I will consider in a reverse way than the previous one. So what I'll consider now I will assume that set clock is 7 a.m. So but actually here original clock will not be 7. Why? Because it is gaining 3 minutes. Set clock is gaining 3 minutes, so that's why it is becoming 7. But actually, original clock is not this much fast. Now what I can see this will be only 657. Which means I can say if it is 60 minutes exactly, it will be 57 minutes only. So either I can assume like this and I can solve in the previous way. So 6 to 9 o'clock. So difference between 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock is nothing but 3 hours. That's it right. So if it is happening 60 minutes, original clock is covering only 57 minutes. 3 hours means how many minutes? 3 into 60 will be 180. If it is covering 180 minutes, so it will cover 3 into 57 minutes only, right? So how many minutes I'll be getting here? 350 is 150 and 37 is 21. I'll be getting 171, which means I'm losing 9 minutes. So of course we are getting same way and same answer here. But actually, the time will be now in original clock as it is not 9 a.m. It will be 8.51 a.m. only. Why? Because for every one hour in set clock, I am losing 3 minutes in original clock. So if it is covering 60 minutes, that is if it is becoming 7 a.m., 
I'm having only 657. So manually also we can solve like this. If it is 7, then original clock will be 657. If it is 8 o'clock, it will be only 754. Why? Because 3 minutes it is reducing. And if it is 9 o'clock, one more 3 minutes will be reduced. It will become 851. So that's it. So either I can assume in this way, 60 to 63 minutes, or else I can go in a reverse pattern. So seems to be slightly confusing, but if we solve more number of problems on this gain and loss, it will be very easy. And mostly we can expect this category of problems. The first category which I have showed uh, in a current log is just for an assumption and for understanding of this concept. And mostly we can expect this type of problems. We need to find out original time where set clock time will be given. Yes, and I hope everyone clear with this one. Next one. A clock which gains uniformly is 6 minutes slow at 6 a.m. On Tuesday, and it is 6 minutes 30 seconds fast at 6 a.m. on the following Thursday. So what they are telling, there is some clock. It, the clock gains time uniformly, which means for every hour it gains some 10 seconds or else 10, 20 seconds. We don't know how much it is gaining. But what they said on Tuesday at 6 a.m. Like whenever it is showing 6 a.m., it is 6 minutes slower. So I can say it is in the minus range. Why? Because uh, slower I will assume it as minus 6. And what is happening? On Thursday, that is the following week, which means in the same week, it is Thursday. And at 6 a.m., whenever it is showing 6 a.m., what they are telling, it is 6 minutes 30 seconds fast. It is not slow. 6 minutes 30 seconds fast. Fast means I will assume it is in a plus range. So observe here. It is moving from minus to plus range. So from minus 6 to plus 6. What is the time difference? How much it is gaining time? So assume it is in a line. So generally we will be having a graph line, right? For example, assume that there are lines like this. Minus 2 to plus 2. If I am asking from minus 2 to plus 2, how much difference I am having? How much it is gaining? Simply 4 values it is increasing, right? Minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Similarly here, the clock is becoming from minus 6, that is slower to faster. And how much it is gaining? That is nothing but just difference between these two. 6 minutes, 30 seconds, minus of minus 6. So total gain is nothing but 6 minutes, 30 seconds, I will assume it as 6 and a half minute minus of minus 6. So why this minus 6 is because it is slower previously. So difference between these two values is nothing but 12 minutes, right? Minus 6 to plus 6 is nothing but 12 minutes. So 12 and half minutes as I am having half. So which means how much it is gaining now? 12 and half minutes or else I can also say 24 plus 1 divided by 2. That is taking mixed proportion. 25 by 2. So how much it gained totally? 25 by 2 minutes it has gained. And now what is the question? When was the clock correct? So if this set clock shows the correct time, at what time it is showing correct? That's what they are asking. So how to solve this? So observe here. From Tuesday morning 6 a.m. to Thursday morning 6 a.m. How many hours is it? So in between there is one day Wednesday. So I'll assume the same time here 6 a.m. So observe here. 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. From Tuesday to Wednesday 24 hours. And from Wednesday to Thursday one more 24 hours. So totally how many hours I'm having? 48 hours. So I can say now. In 48 hours, how much time I am gaining totally, the clock is gaining? 
25 by 2 minutes. So it is gaining 25 by 2 minutes in 48 hours. And now what is the question? The clock should show correct time. If the clock want to show correct time, how much time it should gain? So observe here, it is minus 6 minutes slower. So for example, assume that your watch is a 5 minutes slower. If you want to show the correct time, what you will do? Obviously, we'll be adding 5 minutes, right? If my watch is showing 5 minutes slower, I'll add up 5 minutes. I'll remove the clock by 5 minutes, which means that minus 5 is becoming now 0. So what I can say, if my clock should show correct time, it should gain 6 minutes. So always assume with the same real life examples. So now what I can say, I'll assume now my clock is showing, my watch is showing 6 minutes slower. So what I'll do when it shows correct time, if I increase 6 minutes, then it will show a correct time, right? So here also I can say now, if it want to show correct time, it should gain how many minutes? 6 minutes. So a very simple logic here. In 48 hours, it is gaining 25 by 2 minutes according to question. If it wants to gain 6 minutes where it shows correct time, how much time it requires, that is how many hours it requires. So simply take a crisscross here, we'll be getting answer. So I'll solve it here, see this. So just taking crisscross, 48 into 6 equals to, I'll assume this number of hours as x x into 25 by 2. So just solve this, we will get time in hours. 48 into 6 into 2 divided by 25. So 48 into 6 into 2. 6 twos will be 12 and 12 48 is nothing but 576. We will be getting 576 by 25. Which means how many hours it requires? It is in 576 by 25. So I want to convert it in hours, right? So I'll convert it as nearest multiple of 25 close to 576 is nothing but 575. Just I'll write like this. So 575 by 25 means it is 23 plus 1 by 25. So what does this mean? 23 plus 1 by 25 hours. I can say simply 23 hours and 1 by 25 I will convert it into minutes. How can I convert into minutes? Multiplying with 60, right? So 1 hour means 60 minutes. So if I want 2 hours in minutes, what I will do? I will do 2 into 60. Same logic. 1 by 25 hours I got. I want to convert it into minutes. So 1 by 25 into 60. So I'll be getting 23 hours. And 60 by 25 is nothing but 2.4. So which means the correct time, in order to get correct time, I need to add 23 hours. So for 6 a.m. After 23 hours and 2.4, which is nothing but 2 minutes. After 23 hours, 2 minutes. I'll be getting correct time. So approximately it is nothing but 5 o'clock and 2.4 minutes. At 5 2 a.m. on Wednesday, the clock will show correct time. So this is how we can solve this type of problem. So just Assuming that how much time it is gaining from Tuesday or else whatever may be the number of days given between them. Just use a small logic here. So from minus to plus how much it is gaining. So how to get that one take difference between those two. Gain minus loss. And whenever you are using formula for this, always you need to assume loss as minus values. And I have taken just difference between those two and I got 25 by 2. And when I am getting 6 minutes 30 seconds fast on Thursday 6 a.m. From Tuesday 6 a.m. So I just have taken difference between those two that is 48 hours. 
so in 48 hours i am getting this in order to get 6 minutes where it shows correct time how many hours i need this so just i frame this question and i have taken calculation and i got answer as 52 which means at 52 am on wednesday i'll be getting correct time which means this is the correct time now 52 so seems to be very tricky so you need to solve a lot of questions on this one you need to get a clear idea for this one so i'll be providing more number of questions in our website so if anyone want you can visit our website where uh, you can see a lot of questions along with answers also and if you want any more clarifications on this one you can mail me or else you can ping me in instagram so this is about gain and loss of clocks guys and i hope everyone clear with this one so if you have any queries or else any doubts as i said you can mail me always or else you can ping me in our instagram page so i'll be providing instagram as well as a website as well as mail ids in the description just please watch that one and if this video is useful to you give it a big thumbs up and share it to your friends for who are preparing for exams or, or else placements and finally don't forget to subscribe aptitude made easy to learn thank you